G'day everyone, welcome back to Fix It and Post. My name is Nick and today I have a very special episode for you. It's something I just figured out yesterday and I'm super excited to share with you guys today. It is December 31st, the day before the new year and I just wanted to give you a present for 2017. So here we go, this is what I figured out. See that? We've got ourselves counting numbers up to a billion. So that means you can put in three commas. Pretty nice, right? Now, I've only figured it out. I've actually figured out past three commas, but the formula I'm giving you today is only going to work for three commas. Now, I'm going to do a more in-depth tutorial so you can customize how many commas you want to put in there. But for today, we're just going to look at three commas. So it's pretty straightforward. I'm not going to go into the details of how to do this. I'm just going to give you the formula. Now, I'm going to call this new segment Cheat Codes. Cheat Codes. I'm just going to give you the code, which will be in the first comment in the video. I can't seem to put it in the description for some reason, but you can grab it from the comment section. It'll be the first comment that should be in there. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to start a new comp. We'll call this commas to a billion. Uh, it doesn't have to be whatever time. 10 seconds will be enough. Um, you grab a new text tool. I mean, text layer. Now, make sure you grab the effects and go and find point control, which is under expressions, expression controls, we can just type point and there's point control. Um, drag it on. Just make sure it's there. Effect point control. This won't work unless the point control is there. Now go grab your formula. And what we're going to do is twirl down the text. Now we're going to grab the formula. You're going to copy it. And then once you've copied it, we'll option click the source text. And then we'll paste the code. So command or control V. And there you go. Now, why it says 960 is because at the moment, the formula is actually looking at this parameter only, the 960. Now, the reason why I swapped out the, the slide controller for the point controller is because the point controller has no limit, whereas the slide controller has a limit of 1 million. So what's really cool is that we can go from zero, and we'll set a key point here, a key frame here, and we'll go up to three. I can't talk today. And then let's make this 1 million. One, zero, zero, zero. Zero, zero, zero. Cool. And there you go. It does, let's make this a bit bigger because it's a pretty ugly font. Um, doo, doo, doo. There you go. Okay, now maybe you want to go to one billion. So let's put another three more zeros in there. One, two, three. Let's center this. And look at it count to 1 billion. I mean, we can go and go another, make it 10 billion. Or, let's make it 100 million, billion. The possibilities are endless. Well, it's not actually, you can only go up to, once you get to a trillion, um, that's where the formula falls apart. As you can see, the formula doesn't recognize what this number is. And that's where I'm going to have to go into depth in the next one. So in theory, you can go up to 999 billion, 999 million, 999,999. Okay. So that's the first part. That's the easy part. Now let's save this preset. So let's select the text and the effect, go to the top here and go save animation preset. I've already saved this, but we'll just rename it again. So we'll call this number count. Can't spell count with commas. It should default to a user preset. So just number count with commas, just save. And now what's cool, just give it a sec. And now what's cool is that anytime you want to bring up counting numbers, so let's say, I want to count numbers with commas. Just make a new text layer. And then go to your presets and look for number count with commas. Drag that on and voila, it is already there for you to go. And that is as easy as that is. And there you go. Pretty easy. Now you can do whatever you like of it. You can center it or you can justify it to the left or to the right. Um, 
it would help if it actually is in the center. And uh, you can even change the, you know, the type of character that it is. You can you can do anything you want with it. And this is a lot more flexible than the number count uh, preset that's in After Effects. Anyway, guys, I hope that's been helpful. And for everybody else, if you just, for whatever reason, if you can't see the formula, um, this is the formula here. I'm just going to leave it up for a second. Um, look, I just want to say it's been great. And I've really enjoyed making tutorials this year. Really appreciate you guys subscribing. And um, what kind of tutorials do you guys want in the new year? I really would like to know. Anyway, guys, appreciate all the love. See you guys in 2017. And I'll see you next time.